In this video, I'm going to review and explain to you the Bitcoin bull market support band indicator. Basically, the Bitcoin bull market support band indicator acts as support and resistance when we are in a trend. So we can assume that the price acts, the bull market support band acts as support when we are in an uptrend and it acts as resistance when we are in, an, in a downtrend. So as you can see here, if we see the historical price of Bitcoin, it follows always the same patterns. When we are below the bull market support band, we are in a downtrend. And when we cross, the price crosses above the bull market support band, we are in an uptrend. Okay? So we see that every correction, when the price crosses down, crosses below the bull market support band indicator, we initiate a downtrend. And when we cross up to the bull market support band, we initiate, initiate an uptrend. Okay? So basically, this indicator consists of a 21 weeks, sorry, a 20 week simple moving average and a 21 weeks exponential moving average. So to put you, this indicator into your charts on TradingView, you should go, you should go here into the indicator tab on TradingView, and then you type bull market support band. Okay, you you see this, and myself I use the ZK Dev indicator. Okay, so as I was saying before, this indicator represents the 20 weeks simple moving average, the 20 weeks SMA and the 20 weeks, 21 weeks exponential moving average, the 20 weeks, 21 weeks EMA. OK, so we can assume that the red line, OK, is the 21 weeks moving average, exponential moving average, and the green line is the 20 weeks simple moving average. So basically, this is a delay indicator, OK, because we are using this indicator, very important, in the weekly time frame, okay? And as is based on simple moving averages and exponential moving average, we need to know that it's a lagging indicator, which means that the information, the data that this indicator is printing and the decisions that we are going to make based on this indicator are lagging from the actual price action, okay? So is a good indicator for buying spot, in my opinion, is meant more like an investing standpoint rather rather than a trading standpoint so this indicator in my opinion is not meant for making trades so the intraday trading or uh, trading swing trading okay is most for investing long term because we are using high time frames like the weekly time frame okay okay you can also use it in a daily time frame but is meant to to use to be used in the weekly time frame being a lagging indicator is a good sign because we are making decisions based on a lot of data from a lot of time in higher time frames and also it's a bad sign because we miss the initial move to the upside okay because for example here we can buy here but the initial we we can buy in the retest in the retest on the bull market super band in this case here also hit the retest also hit the retest okay also here we can buy in the retest, also here we can buy in the retest, but we, we lose the initial pump, okay? Because if we want to take the initial pump, we need to focus on leading indicators such as volume, such as open interest, okay? Such as price action, such as supply and demand, okay? But in this case, as I said before, the bull market support band, the Bitcoin bull market support band indicator is very useful if you want to invest long term in Bitcoin because we are focusing on higher time frames. So I will not use this indicator for trading, for swing trading. I will use it for long term, inv long term investing. OK, and to finish the video, just one last tip. When we see, even if we are in an uptrend or in a downtrend, that the price is far to the bull market support band. So, for example, here, the price was, you see, the distance between the bull market support band and the price was high, okay? Also here, okay? The price was very distant from, from the bull market support band, okay? You see here? These are oftentimes good opportunities to sell the asset. Also here, we, we here, we, here we are distant from the bull market support band. So here, when, when we pump to 73K on the last month, okay, 
was a good time to sell the asset. And then every time that the price re tries to retest the bull market super band is a good time to rebuy the asset. And also in the downside, every time that the price retests, retest the bull market super band is a good price to sell the asset. And when we are far from the bull market super band into the downside and approaching a support level, is a good time to buy the asset. Okay, so we need also to calculate the distance between the price, the actual price and the bull market super band, because the farther away the price, even if we are in a downtrend or in, a, in an uptrend or in a downtrend, the farther away the price is from the bull market super band, it means that it's a good time because there is a lot of expansion of the price action to sell in this case or to buy the asset. In this case, also to sell, to buy, okay, here to buy, okay, and here to sell, okay. So we need to measure when we see that the price is very, is very near to the bull market super band, we can assume that the price is continuing the pace in the same rhythm with the bull market super band. So we assume that the price is following the trend, okay. But when we see that the price is expanding farther away from the bull market super band, this means that there is high volatility, so there is a high volatility expansion, and here we begin to try to look for sell, sell areas, okay? Also, this combined, if you need know how to read price, price action, you see here depletion, you see here that this, this candle has a lot of momentum, this candle has a lot of momentum, this was a, an indecision candle, here we weak to the downside, and then again we see depletion, we see that the price has is losing momentum. So here, in this case, in this retest to the, to the resistance level, was a good moment to sell the asset, to sell Bitcoin. Also here, okay, you see good momentum, strong momentum, strong momentum, indecision, indecision, little bit momentum, we, re we rejection, and then the downtrend, okay? So when we see this lose, this loss on the momentum, on the force of the price, and then we, we see the rejection, we can expect a retrace back, okay? Also here, momentum, 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 then a bearish engulfing candle, then again momentum, and we see here depletion. We see that the price is losing momentum. We see a rejection, then here we can begin searching for selling the asset, okay? And the same to the downside. We see the rejections here, okay? We see bearish momentum, bearish momentum, bearish momentum, then indecision, then a rejection, then another rejection, a pin, a pin bar candle, and then we can assume that here we are finding, cementing a support, okay? So here is a good moment to buy the asset, okay? So this is, this is exiting a little bit from the topic of the, of this video, because I was, this video was meant just to focus on the bull market super band, on the Bitcoin bull market super band, but this indicator is very powerful if you know how to combine it with the price action, okay? And as I said before, if we take into account that these signals, the price action, the candles in the price action in the weekly time frame, and also the bull market super band in the weekly time frame, they are higher time frames. So every candle or every retest that we have, or every support and resistance level that we have, has a higher hierarchy, a higher probability of being respected, because when we work on higher time frames, Usually, these levels are very strong levels in the in the chart. Okay, very strong supply and demand, very strong support and resistance level in the chart. Okay, so that's it for today for the video. As always, I remember uh, remember to subscribe to my channel, give a like if you like the video. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also visit my Rumble channel. You can follow me on Instagram and you can follow me on Twitter. On Twitter is the social media that I am most active. So you can find there a lot of daily trades that I post, also daily news, and also I post a lot of setups or trading ideas for free. So you can benefit from a lot of my setups for free if you follow me there on Twitter. So thank you for your time and we see you on the next video.